Thank you, good Lord, for what He's uh, yes, we do. That's for sure. blessed us to uh, hear. Mm. I will be in your presence for a short time. Yeah. I'm thankful that God has blessed me to come this way, as the brothers have said. Uh, my soul has been fed one more time. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I'll, I'll say this. What you've been listening to uh, is the truth. Yeah, uh, that's right. As it is in Christ. As it is in Christ. If I did not believe that uh, we were the recipients uh, of the coming of the Lord in the resurrection, uh, there wouldn't be no need for any of us to be here today. Yeah, great to be uh, there. Uh, <laughs> Yep. I uh, stand in your presence and one that believes in a God that uh, saw all things. Mm, amen. I don't believe for one moment of time that the God that I've uh, served for these many years ever was surprised by anything that has happened in this world. I don't believe that God for one moment of time had to wait to see what kind of human being or what right. kind of man we would become Amen. because God already knew all about man. Amen. Amen. The good God of heaven that we've come here to serve uh, as the brothers preach to you, uh, we all, not just one or two, but everyone under the sound of my voice yes. had done one thing that had separated them from God. We had all sinned and we had all come short of the glory of God. I come here today and these brothers have too to have anything else. If we have anything to boast in, we've come to boast in the great I Am. And I want to boast in the Lord because He's done marvelous things. I told them the other day there was a time when God's people came to where Christ was they being gathered all around Christ and the Lord began to teach them. The Lord began to teach them and began to talk to them. And He talked in such a, a way that the Scripture says He spoke uh, these words that become, they were so uh, uh, gracious words, I believe the Scripture says that He spoke gracious words to them that were around that's what I want to speak to God's people. I want to speak gracious words to you. Because I can assure you of this one thing, that salvation is in none other than the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings. Me and you, if we ever see heaven and a mortal glory, it won't be by anything that you and I had done. As I already told you, we'd all sin and come short of the glory of God. But down from God out of heaven came a Savior. Down from God out of heaven came a little child. Born into this world, born a child, but yet he was a king of kings. He come into this world and I ask you this question. Did he do what he came to do? He came to seek and to save that which was lost. And the scripture said we all like sheep had gone astray. Of the glory be to God, here is the good news. Uh, the shepherd, I believe, knows the sheep. Uh, and the sheep, uh, they know the voice of the shepherd. When he calls children of God, you'll answer that call. We've answered it here in this world. But we're going to answer it one more time. You see, the brothers preached to you that he already raised us one time. Yeah. From a dead state yeah. into a lively hope in Christ. Yeah. The brother has already preached to you that the grave will take us off. Death yeah. will claim us all. I, I'm going to leave this with you. You know, when Christ was crucified, and as the brother told you how they nailed him to a tree there, the cross, how that he died and bowed his head and said it was finished and gave up the ghost. Now they put the Lord in a tomb. They put him in a tomb and they lo rolled a great stone over the mouth of that tomb there where Christ laid. They set a seal there 
They even put guards there as the brothers preach to you. Lest they come and they'll steal his body yeah. away. But there was one thing different when Christ went in the grave and when Christ came out of the grave. Now Christ laid there as he said he would. With everything in me is, I believe, Christ laid there for those three days. Yeah. Amen. Three nights. And as much as he laid there when he hung there on the cross, I believe with all my heart that every drop of blood yeah. that flowed in Emmanuel's yeah. veins, my Savior and yours, yeah. was shed there that day for you and I. Now, no one had to come and roll that stone away for Christ to come out. Now, when Christ came out of that grave, there was some difference between him when he went in. Christ had the blood when he walked here upon the earth, just as you and I. I've already told you he shed that blood and why he shed it for. Now, right out of that stone, or from behind that stone, here come Christ. Yeah. Walked right through yeah. the stone. Amen. Now here was the uh, God's children. Here was uh, uh, His people, the disciples, in a room. Here come the Lord. We're talking after the resurrection now. Amen. And the doors being closed. <laughs> here comes the Lord. See, they feared the Romans. They, they feared what they would do to us. Yeah. So they went into this room. And here comes the Lord on the scene. And right through the wall yeah. comes the Lord. <laughs> here comes the Lord right through them, walking right through the wall. They supposed Him, they supposed Him to be a spirit. Yeah. They supposed him to be the spirit. There was a body there, children. Yeah, yeah. There was a body there. People in this world would have you to believe this. There are people that would have you to believe that the only thing that's leaving here is the spirit. I believe that I would stand in your presence. You've got love, ones, and we're gonna to come to a song. You've got love, ones, that have left this life here, this world, closed their right, and they've gone back to the dust from which they were taken. The spirit went back to God in heaven who gave. I preach to you a resurrection of these, our bodies. If I didn't believe that my loved ones would live and sing in glory, I wouldn't be here. If I didn't believe, Brother Sean, that there was going to be a body, a resurrection, a body going to come out of that grave. Brother, it's being preached. Amen. It's a new thing. It's being preached, children of hope, since Christ arose that day, the resurrection happened. I believe with everything in me is, I'll have a body Amen. like Amen. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. like Brother Sean. I don't know a whole lot about oh, him. I don't know about this. I do know this. I believe sitting on the throne is my Father and your Father. I believe she is there yeah. at His right hand yeah. is my yeah. sweet Redeemer and yours. I thought about this when an old brother one time was being stoned. And heaven was open, and he looked right into heaven. Let me tell you what he saw. He said, I see Jesus 
understanding. I sure enough, God, it tells me a whole lot. He saw Jesus standing there. I believe it was the same Jesus that those men of Galilee was gazing. Their eyes were set on Jesus as He left this world here. A children of God. And it said, they said, why? Why stand ye gazing up word for the same Jesus, you see, a going away is going to come again in the same light manner. Are you looking for him? I am. I believe I'll see him in the morning. I believe I'll behold him in all his glory. I don't you? Yeah, I believe when we wake in the morning, I will wake. I will body. I believe we awake with a shout. Yeah, I sing I believe we'll begin right here. And when we, when we see the eastern sky, you believe the eastern sky is going to roll back? Yeah. I'm sure it is. The scripture says it's going to roll back. It's going to roll back as a scroll. And there I'll stand Jesus. And we'll behold Him. You see the the old, the old prophets of old, one wrote and he spoke about skin worms. Yeah, the old brother spoke about skin worms. Job spoke about it. Yeah. Said though my skin worm destroy. The scripture says destroy this body. In other words, devour it. He said something else too to go along with that. He said, yet in my flesh yeah. shall I see God. Yeah. I'll see Him for myself and not another. You see, uh, back about uh, 15 or 20 years ago, I, I've, uh, my health's not as good as it once was. I don't look like I used to look. I, I've got more wrinkles today than I had then. The skin worms has already started. I'll, I'll tell you this, from the day you come into this world, the skin worms have yeah. started to devour this flesh. Good yeah, mind yours. But I'll tell you this, I see God for myself Amen. one time I live right here in this world also. But I do believe this, I'm going to see Him in the morning of the resurrection. And like I said, we're going to come to a song. Brother, get you some. If I didn't believe that, I wouldn't be here. And I want to warn you of something else. You don't hear it spoke very often. I'll say this. There's difference in the lake of fire. And there's difference in the hell. The lake of fire is where uh, uh, the other seed was. I'll just say that. You and I ought to be concerned and we ought to worry about how we get along in this world. We ought to walk just as close as we can to what they say the Lord. You get a whole lot, a whole lot better. In other words, be obedient because a brother preached to you of a man that was swallowed by a whale, a great fish. Out of the belly of hell, cried I. You can get yourself into such a shape here in this world that you'll be out out of the belly of hell, cry yeah. yeah. heaven you home just uh, regardless. Yeah. Right here is what you got to be worried about. Yeah. There was a people that come to Christ and will come to song. There was a people yeah. come to Christ one time. You hear people in this world, well, everybody has a change. It's up to you. There was a people come to Christ one time just to show you you have Bible for it what does say the Lord. The people come to the Lord one time and they was all the time trying to catch the Lord up in this and they was all the time trying to catch Him up in that. It was a Pharisee people. Always caused Christ a whole lot of problems as far as the flesh goes. The Lord looked at him and He told him something that you will not hear the world declare. The Lord looked at him and He said, You are of your Father the devil. <laughs> and he said, The works thereof ye shall do. Yeah. Yeah. Now I was born into this world naturally, so with my parents I couldn't have been nobody else's child. Right. 
Well, you couldn't have been nobody else's child but the Lord's. You can't have but one father. But when he looked at those people and he said, You are of your father the devil, and the deeds thereof you'll do, that'll let you know that there's a people upon this earth that are a people of confusion, a people of trouble, a people of none other than the devil. So we've come here today. We come to worship the Lord. God That's right. Yeah. We're going to come to a song and we'll say as we sing, if you want to hang with this kind of people, you let it be known. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't never uh, forget the assembling of yourselves yeah. together yeah. as the manner of son. Oh, Baptist people, we're what we are. We are an afflicted. We are a poor, poor. people. You will not find no pride about us. You will not find no uh, beating on an instrument. And I'm not talking about any denomination. I'm talking about old Baptist way. That's right. We don't have but three things that we worship God. With. And you have to have the Spirit to worship Him within. We don't have nothing to offer you other than uh, we come together with singing, we come together praying, and we become, come together preaching. So may God bless you, and I thank each and every one that is for coming this way. Come with your soul. If you want to want a home of a church, let it be known.